Hi friends, welcome back. It is week three of our Summer Strength Challenge, and as today is Monday, we're gonna be focusing in on the core today. Now we're gonna do something a little bit different today. Today we're gonna to be working on core compression. So there are different types of effort that you put in when you are building up your core muscles. Core compression is one that um, you don't really think of as often, but I feel like it's important to note that your core is from here all the way down to below your hips. And it is not just the front and your abs, it is literally the entirety of this section of your body. All of this constitutes the core. And so it's important to learn how to um, really contract certain areas and isolate them. Now, I feel like it's also important to note that when it comes to core compression, your quality of effort is yours. These types of flows can be really, really crazy easy or they can be really crazy hard. It just depends on your level of effort and what you choose to put into it. So it's completely up to you how hard or how easy this flow is, but I challenge you to really do your best to put in the highest level of effort that you feel you can today. And that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Come to a comfortable seated position. If you want, you can pop your bum up on a block. We don't necessarily need blocks today though, so don't feel like you need to go grab one if you don't have one. Go ahead and rest the hands down and then close off the eyes. We're gonna start this week strong with some good belly breathing. So take a nice deep inhale and then exhale out fully. And now as you inhale, really try to expand down in your lower abdomen, front to back and side to side. And then exhale, press that navel all the way back toward your spine. So you're really hollowing out through that area. Again, inhale, really expand. When you get to the top of that breath, see if you can sip in just a little bit more air and then hold for a moment. And then exhale fully. And again, press that navel back toward your spine. Just as you feel like you are completely out of air, see if you can blow out just a little bit more and then hold. And again, one more time, inhale all the way. It's like you're blowing up a balloon, <laughs> but down in your lower abdomen. Sip in just a little bit more and hold at the top of your breath. And then exhale fully. Again, pressing that navel back toward your spine drawing those points back together, side to side, front to back. Hold, take a nice deep inhale and allow the breath to come back to its natural rhythm. Take one more natural breath and then you can go ahead and blink, open the eyes. Good, go ahead and inhale, arms come all the way up to the sky, Exhale, split the hands, let's twist to the right. And again, see if you can twist through your abdomen. So you can use your hands to press and pull. See if you can do it without using that pressure. If you're just gently resting it there, see if you can use your abdominal muscles to really twist. And inhale, back up to center. Exhale, split and to, uh, twist to the left. And again, as soon as you feel like you're as deep as you are, as you can be in your twist, see if you can lift your hands and stay that deep. Fun little experiment. Also give you an idea of the type of um, effort I'd like you to put in today. And inhale back up to center. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Good. Go ahead and remove the block if you have one. Let's come to a tabletop position. We're gonna do some cat and cow. But this time, we'll do a regular uh, cow. As you come into your cat, I want you to really focus on hollowing out that center and then hold it there for just an extra breath. Oh, well, an extra moment, not an extra breath. <laughs> Inhale, go ahead and draw the chest forward so that bones go back and broad. Exhale, really hollow out that belly. Hollow it as much as you possibly can and hold here for a moment. And then release and inhale, come back to cow. If you feel like your stomach begins to cramp in this position, ease yourself out of the posture and counter it with a cow. Go ahead and 
really hollow out again, hold, and inhale, come back to cow, one last time, exhale, hollow out that belly, hold, and then come back to a neutral spine, good. All right, go ahead and move your hands just a little bit further forward, tuck under the toes and come up into a plank. Now we have done this a lot already in this challenge, but we gotta build some fire to start out. <laughs> so hold here in your regular plank. Really try to lift and keep your uh, core solid so that you're forming a straight line between the crown of your head all the way to your heels. Hold. And now come over to your right side for a side plank. If you need to take a variation with your knee down, feel free to do so. If you feel like you can though, come up to your full side plank. See if you can really lift through your obliques. And then you bring your left arm overhead, lift your left leg, and I'll see if you can stay lifted while drawing your toe to your, to your fingers. Extend, one more time, tap, extend, woo. <laughs> Lower that foot down, come back to your center plank. Again, hold here. Feel that fire beginning to burn. This is our goal, you're doing great. <laughs> All right, and then come over to the left side. Lift. Again, focus on using your obliques to stay nice and lifted. Send that right arm overhead, lift your right leg, Ooh, and then twice, lift. Touch those toes one more time. Tap, lift. You can lower that foot down. Come back to your regular plank. Whew. Hold, hold, you got this. Hollow out through that belly. Breathe. <laughs> and then press back into a downward facing dog. Good job. So you should be feeling nice and warm now, which is good. It means you're prepared. <laughs> All right. Now I want you to use your hands to walk back to a forward fold, but as you do, I want you to see if you can use your hip flexors and those core muscles to really push yourself into the forward fold. So instead of using the mat to, you know, just kind of push your way back, see if you can really use those core muscles so that it's as if you are barely touching the mat at all, and then come into your forward fold. So. An example of compression. You can, when you are trying to learn to forward fold, you can, you know, grab your toes, draw your elbows out, pull this way. You could grab behind your legs, pull this way. This will help you learn to stretch, but it's not gonna build up those core compression muscles. What you wanna do is focus on using these muscles to focus and draw your belly toward your thighs. So see if you can do it with your arms back so that you can get a lot deeper. If you want, you can bend the knees to like get a feel for where you should be and then begin to straighten. But it's gonna take some energy and some focus from here all the way to here to keep yourself in this forward fold position. See if you can hold here. Breathe. Again, quality of effort, it's up to you. Inhale, come up halfway. I want you to do this one more time. Use those core muscles, fold. Bring your arms up behind you. Breathe. Good. Okay, come on down to a squat and we'll make our way into a supine position. You don't have to go slow, just make your way down. <laughs> do plenty of work once we get there. All right. Now, if you've done gymnastics before, you're probably familiar with dish. Um, or if you've heard of like hollow body rocks, that's where we're headed with this. Basically, I want you to lift your legs just a little bit off the floor, extend your arms up above the head so you're in kind of a slight curve, okay? I'm gonna hold here and then see if you can start to rock your body while maintaining. It's hard to do it while talking while maintaining the hollow space in that, um, in that abdominal area. So continue to rock. 
It should look kind of like this. Settle down. You can release. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do that and talk at the same time. <laughs> and then extend your arms up above the head. Lift those feet again and hold. So we're in a little bit more of a straight position now. Breathe. Hollow through the core. And release down. Good job. <laughs> so when you're doing the rocks, I am not as graceful as you can be, but you want to be in a little bit more of a U shape so that you can rock, but it takes a lot of energy to hold that position with movement. So that's one that you can practice. Okay, go ahead and place your hands down by your side. We're going to come into a bent knee plow position. You stay here. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So we'll have you come up into a plow position with your knees bent. And then see if you can slowly lower yourself down whilst keeping that compression in that same area that we were utilizing in the forward fold. So you want to see if you can keep your thigh as close to your tummy as you possibly can as you slowly roll down. We'll do this three times. So it'll be kind of a uh, trap workout for your arms as well, but that's okay. <laughs> arms and abs, they just go together, you guys. Okay, so go ahead and roll yourself up to a bent knee plow position, and then slowly, slowly compress. Breathe, but keep compressing the whole way down. Whew. Good, if you can go slower than me, Good for you. <laughs> Keep on practicing. See if you can just get it as slow as you possibly can. That's one. Let's do two more. Come back up. And exhale. Slowly, slowly. Lower yourself down. Good. Okay, do one more. I've already done two. <laughs> so I'm just going to wait right here. <laughs> but go ahead and... Roll yourself back up, and then slowly, slowly lower yourself all the way back down. See if you can go slower than you did the first two times. These are all good drills that you can practice. If core compression is one of those things that you really want to get down, all of these are good drills to practice on a regular basis. Okay. Hopefully you've had enough time to complete your plow pose. <laughs> all right. So now we're going to do kind of a supine crow, so it's like an upside down crow. So bring your knees up to your chest, reach up into the sky as if you were holding yourself up in crow, okay? So just like when you're in crow, you have to compress your thighs towards your tummy in order to keep yourself lifted off the ground. You're gonna do the same here, okay? So hold here, and then as you inhale, extend your legs out long, reach back, exhale, come back to your crow position. So you should be keeping a crunch through this whole movement. Let's do four more. Inhale, extend, exhale, crow crunch. Inhale, reach and extend, exhale, crow crunch. Sorry if you can hear my hip popping. <laughs> Inhale, extend, exhale, really lift. Okay, compress those thighs to your chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lift. One more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crow. Awesome. Whew, relax down. Good job. Go ahead and rock from side to side. Give your stomach <laughs> and that whole core area just a little bit of a rest. All right. Let's roll ourselves up to a seated position. All right, go ahead and scoot yourself back if you need to. <laughs> and now, just like we did in the twist where we like lifted our hands up, we're gonna do something similar here. So scoot your legs in as far as they can go and give your knees a nice big hug, okay? So you wanna be as compressed into like a tiny little ball as you can possibly get, okay? Pull yourself together, use your arms to pull you up and then lengthen through the spine. So you wanna be as tall as you possibly can be from your sit bones up to the crown of your head. And now, see if you can maintain the position as you let go with your arms, 
hold here. Extend your arms forward. If you want a real challenge, you can extend them up toward the sky. I'm not to that level yet, but by all means, if you feel like you can. Breathe. Hold. Again, quality of effort. This could be really easy or this could be really difficult. Just depends on your quality of effort. Really lengthen up toward the sky. Okay, go ahead and give your knees a hug. Relax, relax for a minute. Relax. <laughs> Breathe here. All of these exercises are so much harder than they look. <laughs> so if you're not being challenged, it might be time to up the, uh, up the game in terms of effort. <sighs> okay, hug your knees in one more time. We're going to do this one more time. Extend that spine up toward the ceiling, and then maintain your position. Extend those arms out long. Whew. See if you can squeeze your knees together, too, if, like me, you have them kind of coming apart a little bit. Lengthen through the spine. Compress. Use those hip flexors. Use your core muscles. Breathe. Hold. One more breath. You got this. All right, give them a hug. Awesome. Good job. All right, scoot your bones back just a little bit farther. Extend your legs out long. If you need to take some twists, if you feel like you're getting fatigued through your core or through your upper body, it's totally normal. Take any movements that you might be in need of. Then place your hands down in front of your, kind of like right behind your knees, but in front of your hips. And then see if you can lift your legs. Whew. This should be difficult. And lower. I can't hold them for very long. If you can hold them longer, by all means, feel free. Shake out your legs. All right, one more time. You can lean back a little, but try not to like use your body weight to counter. You want to be keeping your focus forward and using this area to compress. And here we go, one more time. Lift, Whew. breathe, and lower. <laughs> Okay, draw your knees up toward your chest, and we're going to do this kind of the opposite way. So place your hands down next to your hips. We're going to use our core strength to lift our buns up off the ground. It's okay if your feet or your toes are touching, but we're just going to lift. And again, use those same muscles. So I'm sure you're feeling some fatigue right now. That's good. It means you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. But hang in there. We're almost there, okay? All right. Place your hands down and lift. Use your core muscles to compress. Hold and drop. I don't know if you're shaking, but I'm shaking like visibly. <laughs> All right, take a moment to lengthen through the spine again. We'll do this one more time. Place the hands down and lift, compress. Pull those knees in and drop down. Good job. <laughs> All right, come to sit back on your sit bones and place your hands behind the knees. Come up to balance in a boat position. Hold here. And then as soon as you feel like you're ready, remove those hands. Hold the position. Stay lengthened through your spine. You don't want to collapse down. Stay lifted. All right, and relax. Good job. All right, go ahead and swing around to your belly. Now, like I said in the beginning, your core includes the back side. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little bit of an exercise there as well. So lower down to the belly. And first, go ahead and place your hands just a little bit in front of your shoulders. Just slowly press up for slow cobra. Let's just stretch out through the front side for a moment. <sighs> nice, deep cleansing breaths. Can uh, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And lower down. Okay. Go ahead and inhale. Lift your arms and your legs and hold here for a moment. It should counter a little bit of what we've done before, but we have also been working your back muscles as well, so you may feel some fatigue there as well. That's okay. Hang in there. 
Go ahead and exhale yourself down. Just rest your forehead down on the ground for a moment. We're gonna do this one again, and then we're gonna do um, kind of like hollow body rocks, but on the opposite side. So go ahead and inhale, lift yourself up, and then see if you can start rocking. Again, can't really talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> but you go ahead and keep on rocking. Make sure that you are maintaining that curve, but don't hyperextend in your spine either. Go ahead, and then as soon as you feel like you've had a good little rock out, <laughs> go ahead and bring yourself back down. Just rest your forehead and your hands for a moment. Take a nice deep inhale into the back side of your body. Then exhale fully. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Come back into a narrow leg child's pose. Now in this position, you could just allow yourself to flop down and you know relax here. I want you to focus on compressing. Press your belly down toward your thighs. Really try to close that space as much as you possibly can. If your belly happens to already be on your thighs, then just see if you can make it a little bit tighter. Put energy into that area. We don't want this to be passive, at least not today. Most days, child suppose we want to be passive, but today is all about compression. So put energy into the area. That being said though, as you are compressing, relax the areas that you can relax, your forehead, your tongue, your shoulders, your toes, let those areas relax. Just focus on the core and the hip flexors. All right, go ahead and peel your body all the way up to kneeling. Awesome, good job. And then make your way into a supine position. So extend your legs out long. I won't make you go slow today. <laughs> Okay, and then cross left leg over the right. Thread your hands behind the right knee. Flex that left foot. Draw those legs toward you. Hopefully this will be feeling nice in your glutes and your hip flexors, both of which should have gotten some work today. And then drop your right foot down. Keep your left leg as it is. Draw your arms out into a T position. And then drop both legs over to the right. So you should be twisting with your left knee pointed straight up at the sky. You can bring your gaze over that left shoulder. Make sure both shoulder blades are still plugged down into the mat. And inhale, bring them both back up to center. Let's go ahead and reverse that figure four. So cross right ankle over the left knee, flex that right foot, thread the hands behind the left leg, draw those legs toward you. If ever you want to do this compression style, you can always do it sitting up. <laughs> kind of like we did with the uh, seated compression. Um, you can do that while in a figure four as well is quite a challenge. You get a nice stretch and a <laughs> good exercise at the same time. All right, keeping your legs as they are, drop that left foot down. Arms come out to a T, keep that right foot flexed. Drop both legs over to the left. You bring your gaze over the right shoulder.
All right, bring both legs back up to center. Place both feet at the wide edge of the mat where your knees can topple in together. And then I want you to drop both legs over toward the right. So we're getting a nice little psoas stretch. We worked the psoas hard today. So push that left knee down away from you as if it's trying to escape to that wall behind you or in front of you, below you. Yeah. <laughs> So as is one of those muscles that can be filled with a lot of stress and tension. Um, so after working it really hard, if you feel like you are a little extra emotional today, that's totally normal. Don't think that you're crazy. It's very, very common. Just stretch through it, have a good cry, <laughs> and then keep at it. All right, bring both legs up to center. Drop both legs over to the left. And again, you want that right knee to feel like it's escaping down that direction. You should feel it all the way up those hip flexors. Go ahead and come back up to center. And you can make your way into whichever variation of Shavasana sounds good to you today. Go ahead and tuck the shoulder blades under the back and you can place the hands either on the belly, palm up, and then close off the eyes. And again, just take the moment to allow yourself to rest and recover. See if you can allow your entire body to relax, starting at the crown of your head, and then as if that relaxation is just melting down the sides of your face, your nose and your mouth, your neck, shoulders, back and chest, upper abdomen, lower abdomen, all the way down your arms and your hands and your fingers. Rest those hip flexors. And then down the thighs, the knees, the lower legs, ankles, feet, and toes. Just melt. This time is for you. And bring your presence back to the body and begin to make some subtle movements with your fingers and toes, ankles and wrists. And as soon as you feel ready, roll to whichever side feels comfortable to you. You can maybe pause there for a moment. If you feel like you need a little additional rest. And then make your way up into a comfortable seated position with your eyes remaining closed. Bring hands to heart center and blink open the eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much for flowing with me. I hope that this was a powerful start to your week. And I hope that it was also enlightening if compression is one of those things that you've been curious about or working towards. So I hope that these drills have been helpful to you. Please be sure to join me again tomorrow. We'll be doing another leg day. So Let's not skip it. <laughs> and I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks so much. Have a slow day.